Basically, people can come in and choose to distribute um, their uh, products or services in StumbleUpon. And basically, they just come in, they say, I'd like to target people who are this age, living in this location, interested in this topic. And then people, as they're stumbling, will then see one of these uh, kind of ads, you know, in between other stumbles that they get. Um, the nice thing about it is that people can then rate the advertising, so it gives feedback to the advertisers whether or not people like the product or service. Um, and also there's no click-through required, so it's not, it's really suitable for kind of products where people don't click on text ads on the side of Google. So if you were selling a digital camera, you'd probably still be better to go to something like AdSense, but if you were looking to kind of launch a product or kind of promote a local restaurant or something like that, you'd probably be better off to do something like some point. Um, they're actually just full page ads, um, so it's not really even an ad, it's just a website. So all we're really doing is bringing um, attention to your website to people that we think might be interested. So there is no actual ads on the, and we have a little bit of AdSense, but that's not our main revenue model. But as you're stumbling, you're going to see a succession of pages, um, and then once, in, you know, one in every 20 up to, you may see an ad that's actually sponsored. So we're not actually requiring people to create any new creative. They don't need to create a banner or even a text ad. All they need to do is take and enter their current you know, web you know, URL and then target it to the right people. It used to be very Firefox-centric. Uh, it used to be kind of 80, 90% of our users were on Firefox. And now that's definitely kind of decreasing. I think that now we have as many people come in on Internet Explorer as on Firefox. Um, so that's now down to maybe like 70, 75% of Firefox, where it used to be 90. Uh, so we're definitely going more mainstream as we've kind of added the invite your friend feature. Um, so I think that's definitely kind of, you know, it's a less techie audience than it was before. It's definitely, it's not just technology and, and photography and the bigger topics now that, that it works well for. Even for things like fine arts and gardening and very, you know, smaller, obscure things, it will still work really well. Um, so I think it's kind of interesting we're leaving that kind of early adopter market and, and kind of expanding into, into like regular, regular people. So. Funny demographics, older people? Or? Uh, it's, I think the majority is, it's, it's pretty even. It's 18 to 35 is probably 60%. Um, and then just a few that are kind of 14, like maybe 7 or 8% are kind of, you know, 14 to 18. And then another kind of, about a third are actually over the age of 35. So it's pretty even. We're just focused on the Flash Player because um, we want people to be able to view the videos without having to download or install anything. Um, so right now we're just focused on Flash Video and pretty much anyone who has, um, you know, a good amount of content and it's Flash, it has autoplay functionality, then we'd like to include in some video. So, so far we've just started with the four. We've got MySpace, Google, YouTube, um, and MetaCafe, and we like to expand that. But currently we don't have any plans to kind of do a more download-oriented approach. We just like to kind of focus on higher quality streamed video uh, to our current kind of similar video interface.